Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been filmed trying a local delicacy in the Bahamas, known as the Conk's male genitalia, as a stunt Prince William looks on. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are on their final day of an eight-day tour of the Caribbean, marking the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. They will head home from the Bahamas, the last stop on their visit after stays in Jamaica and Belize. Following a visit to the Abaco Islands to see the devastation wrought by Hurricane Dorian in 2019, the royal couple's activities hit a lighter note with a taste test of local foods. Sampling local delights, the Duchess of Cambridge did not balk when she swallowed a strip of flesh from the inside of a conch, believed to be the conch's male genitalia. Daily Mail royal editor Rebecca English tweeted the video, commenting, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited a fish fry today with Kate trying local delicacy conch pistol dash said to have the same effect as Viagra. She then claimed the Duchess said, I'm a little bit more adventurous than William is. To which her husband responded, I can handle it. She then followed this up with a caption dripping in disbelief, adding, can't quite believe I am writing this. But here it goes. Kate held up the strip of flesh, which comes from the inside of the conch and is commonly said to be the conch's male genitalia before putting it in her mouth to applause from the crowds. The future king, 39, and wife Kate, were visiting a fish fry when they were offered a taste of the conch pistol. The couple also sampled a conch salad, fritters, and William drank a gully wash, which is coconut juice mixed with condensed milk. Showing his approval, he laughed, you guys talk amongst yourself I'm staying here. The Duchess of Cambridge even stepped up to prepare a dish for herself. She moved behind the counter at the fish fry in Dundas town. Abaco, as stall owner Jade Adderley monitored her progress. She joked to him, I'm not as fast as you. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived in the northern Bahamian Abaco Islands on Saturday to meet local residents and hear testimony about the rebuilding of communities following the 2019 hurricane. Hurricane Dorian hit the islands back in 2019, and is widely seen as the Bahamas' most catastrophic natural disaster. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge spent time at the Daystar Evangelical Church, which was damaged during the hurricane, and hear first-hand testimony of experiences during the devastating storm. This follows Prince William hinting that any decision made by the countries the couple visited on their tour to break away from the royal family would be supported by the Duke and Duchess. Speaking in the Bahamian capital, Nassau, Prince William said the relationship between the royal family and the Caribbean Commonwealth states was changing. He added, Relationships evolve. Friendship endures. He continued, Next year, I know you are all looking forward to celebrating 50 years of independence, your golden anniversary. And with Jamaica celebrating 60 years of independence this year, and Belize celebrating 40 years of independence last year, I want to say this, we support with pride and respect your decisions about your future.